hello 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 it's your boy mr zambiest if you're seeing this face for the first time please pause the video like our facebook page follow us on instagram subscribe to our youtube channel like our videos share our to those whom you feel they need to see these videos to that zambian who doesn't know us please we are all about taking great things about zambia to africa great things about zambia to the world so on today's video i'll be talking to those high school graduates that is those that have completed their school but they are stranded they don't know what to do next they are vulnerable they are orphans their parents can't manage to take them to university but they have very excellent results yeah. So I'm um, here to guide them today on what steps they are supposed to take for them to be considered for the uh, government student loan, that is the bursary, and this is for local students, uh, those that want to study within exactly. Zambia. So the Higher Education Loans and Scholarship Board actually supports both uh, students who want to apply within uh, Zambia and those that are, want to apply outside Africa. And I cannot lie. Uh, the government is helping a lot of students of recent years there has been an improvement there are a lot of opportunities for students to actually apply both locally and uh, abroad yeah it's helping uh, a lot of zambia students that without their uh, financial assistance without their support those students wouldn't have managed actually to go to a uh, university so i'll guide you through the steps that are supposed to take i'm making this video simply because i've had a lot of actually people that are close to me coming out to me and then asking on what procedure they are supposed to take to apply for uh, a government loan that is a bursary actually having missed uh, the previous ones due to lack of information on what steps they are supposed to take what procedure what document they are supposed to take that side and yeah. i don't want any zambian to Please. experience that due to lack of uh, being guided or due to lack of information so that's a, a lifetime chance that comes a lifetime opportunity which one shouldn't miss yeah, so this is why i decided to make this video actually to guide all those high school graduates that have just completed their school but they do not have uh, special guidance uh, on what they're supposed to do yes, so uh, the guidance i'm going to give you is actually in line with the my experience uh, with the higher education loans and scholarship board yeah i was once an applicant of the higher education loans and scholarship board yeah so i'll give you the advice in accordance to what i did and what i submitted follow the steps that you're supposed to take for you to be considered so the first step is actually applying to the university of your choice for admission is to apply uh, to any university uh, that you feel like applying to that you want to go to actually and that university must be acquitted to with the higher education loans and scholarship board the higher education loans and scholarship board must have actually a memorandum of understanding with that uh, university to say they are going to be sponsoring some of the students at that university so those are the universities where you can apply to they are a lot they are quite a lot now they only used to be uns and cbu but now they are a lot actually i've put the link on the list of those universities down there so that you can track them because actually applying for admission is uh the most important point because you can't uh, proceed to the next steps without uh, the acceptance letter from uh, that university that's why it's very cardinal it's very important you need to track those universities when they cast in their application letters for admission and, and when they, they close the opening date and the closing date, it's very important. Yeah. So I'm going to put uh, the list of those universities. But to mention a few, uh, the, the highest learning institution uh, in Zambia, that is the University of Zambia, the Copa Belt University, uh, we have Chalimana University, we have the Mulungoshi University, we have Nkrumah University. There are a lot, yeah, there are a lot. So just yeah, be on the lookout and then uh, check for, 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 for the list of these universities in the link. Yeah, so you apply to the university of your choice with the program that you want, please. And also nice. make sure you see the uh, requirements of the, pro the program that you want to apply to at that university in terms of the points what they need and everything yeah before you apply because you actually have to pay a certain application fee for these uh acceptance or admission application uh, letters uh that is the range from 150 kwacha to a uh, 250 kwacha depending on which university you are applying to yeah so uh make sure you check what they need and uh, actually uh from there you wait 
yeah some universities you have to wait for quite a period before they release the the list of those that have been accepted for admission but nowadays uh, most of the universities actually it's on instant yeah just there when you apply they even see your, your results and they guide you uh, on which program you are eligible to apply in and after that they give you acceptance letter there and then yeah so once you are given that acceptance letter there and then you now wait the second step is actually to wait and apply for uh, the bursary or the student loan from the higher education loans and scholarship board so what happens yeah the higher education loans and scholarship board via their facebook page they are going to actually advertise that they need applicants for the school that you have the acceptance later with once you they advertise it's now uh, your turn to actually uh, apply for that uh, student loan and there are actually uh, some requirements on that advert that is actually released some requirements of what you need yeah, i'm going to talk about a few of them but the rest of it uh, you you'll find it actually in that same advert so yeah they usually advertise on their facebook page i'm going to put that link again below and yeah. if you don't uh, know the page actually then click on the link you'll find everything there yeah so on the requirements actually they specifically uh include what, what year of high school graduates they need so some sometimes for example this is 2022 they would want to uh, consider high school graduates from 2019 2020 2021 and 2022 like that yeah. so if you are among us you you'll be able to cast in your application letter and also what you need are some documents yes. what documents are those uh, you need some passport size photos those you also need uh, recommendation letters yeah recommendation letters i almost forgot yeah. you need recommendation letters for, for you to apply for 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 this uh, student loan so uh, the most important uh, recommendation letters are the one from your former high school uh, so you go and get that and it should be redirected to to the higher education laws and scholarship board then from there you also need uh, from the community there there are there are people that are within your community the quack leaders they are there in your in your community those are the people you go to so that they can actually give you a recommendation letter uh, from the community and also from the church you can get one from the church one from your former work place yeah that is if you are working uh, after just completing your high school you need your your guardians guardians uh, national identity card because you have to be a zambian actually before uh, for you to for for these uh, uh, student loans yeah you have to be a zambian or of zambian origin yeah that, and then you need to prepare some some money yeah you need to prepare some money yeah that money that you need to prepare is actually to go and pay there uh, actually yeah let me make this clear no no one has to make you pay for this uh, application letter no one a person comes to you and tells you no uh, for you to apply for this scholarship you need to give me a certain amount there is no such kind of a thing the only payment i know and the only payment i remember is the one that goes to the government actually when you are casting in your application letter so you have to pay the time I was applying, it was a 30 kwacha, but I hear now it's a 100 kwacha. So that payment, once you make it, they even give you a government receipt. You shouldn't go in anyone's pocket. No, it's a government property. Uh, so that's the amount that you pay. Yeah. And um, what oh, I almost forgot again about this. You're supposed to certify all your documents. Your grade 12 transcript has to be certified with the Examination uh, Council of Zambia. And if you have your certificate yeah you can use your certificate well and good and also all the other documents are you have to certify them with any commission of oath you can actually certify your documents yeah and then once you're done with that yeah you cast in your application letter so the, i remember the time i was applying myself uh, it was actually a bit difficult yeah because we had to move yeah i was i was in western province here yeah, by then so uh, we moved from western province that was mungo to be specific and went to Lusaka and casted in our application letter. Mm. There were the challenges, transport challenges. And I'm sure uh, the, the Higher Education Loans and Scholarship Board considered this. Yeah. And this time around, actually, things are way easy. You can cast in your application letter at any not save what? Not save branch in your province or district. So you, you can apply from your district without going to Lusaka and casting in the application letter. And once you are done with your application letter, which is the second uh, step, the next step is actually to wait for the Higher Education Loans and Scholarship Board to scrutinize your applications and then uh, select those that uh, they feel 
are, are eligible or have made it for 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 the student loan yeah once they have they have released that list you yeah, are well and good and now to prepare for your uh tertiary education that is if you've, uh, you've been accepted but if you've not been accepted don't worry you still try again next time and then also if you've not been accepted please I know it's quite it's it's quite depressing. Yeah, uh, your quite friends have been accepted, and then you you get left out. Please, it's quite depressing. Yeah, and it can be detrimental actually to your mental health. Uh, I myself am one of the people. I'm a victim. Yeah, I almost gave up, but please don't give up. Don't give up. Just continue pushing. Yeah, just continue pushing, and everything will be fine. You try both local and international scholarship if you've not been accepted. And and then other than that, for those that have been accepted, uh, well and good again. Uh, you go on and proceed with the, uh, whatever program you've been accepted in. Uh, yeah, that's that. For those that have, haven't been accepted again, please. Uh, but I've seen some instances where actually some guys have applied both uh, admission and the student loan at two universities and have been given the bursary there or the student loan. So one thing I would advise you please is uh, to, is to cast your net wide yeah. and uh, be able to utilize all the opportunities. Yeah. Apply at, at as many universities as you can Yeah, so that uh, you have uh, a wider chance of being selected and a wider chance of being picked. I myself, I remember the time I did my application, I applied both at UNSA, that is the University of Zambia and the Copperbelt University but i only applied for the bursary at cbu due to some uh due to some circumstances then yeah due to some circumstances i wouldn't say i don't regret but uh, it's something that has taught me it has taught me a lot and uh, i use this actually to advise the people that come to ask for advice from me yeah? so what i tell them is cast the net white apply at as many universities as you can and apply for bursaries at all those universities and where you're going to be picked and where you want that's where you go so that's it about it after you've uh, you've been accepted after you've been accepted you go and start up now your your your, your your program yeah at that university and if not been accepted the, the journey is also just a starting yeah so you keep on trying every year every year you keep on trying and there are actually a lot of uh, opportunities starting from january to december there are a lot of opportunities in terms of studying uh in terms of uh, the, the government sponsoring you uh, both locally and the international yeah. so just keep on trying and for those ones who have been accepted all the very best because actually it's from there that you start uh, making a difference in Zambia. Yeah. Uh, we want you to be part of the, the equation that is making uh, Zambia great, the Zambia that we want, the, the Zambia that we all hope for. And this is your stepping point. It's just the beginning. Yeah, it's just the beginning. There you might face a lot of difficulty challenges where you're going, but please keep on pushing, keep on pushing. Everything will be fine. Yeah, everything will be fine. And oh, and I forgot one thing actually. I forgot one thing. For those orphans who do not have, uh, for example, the death certificate of their parents, please go to at the court and then they give you an affidavit showing that you do not have your parents it's very important to document that you are you are an orphan it's an ad added advantage and then there is also an ad added advantage for you being in a rural area you know what i mean yeah and then there's also an added advantage for you having excellent results there's also an added advantage for you being a female and so, this is one thing i i forgot to tell you actually there is a limit uh, in terms of uh, in what duration you can apply so they consider index if this year they are considering from 2018 uh, high school graduates next year they will start considering from 2019 just like that it's usually limiting so try to apply as early as possible please try to apply as early as possible and uh, get that uh, student loan uh, the government is actually helping a lot uh, is educating a lot it has educated a lot and uh, through that please you have a real life changing opportunity of once uh, being the driving force of zambia's prosperity uh, you you'll be in the chain of actually making zambia great the future is waiting for you we can we can't wait to see you uh driving zambia to where we need it to be and uh, 
we hope to see someone saying uh, mr zambi yes you helped me with that video of yours uh, it guided me actually i've i've applied to this university and i've been accepted i'm starting my program today so yeah that's what we like hearing here at mr zambi yes we are all about sharing uh, great opportunities in zambia showing the the positive view of what is happening in Zambia. So it's a boy, Mr. Zambiest. Until we meet you in the next video, don't forget to like, comment, share our videos with those that you feel that they need this information. And please don't forget to like and comment in the comment section how this video has helped you. And uh, if you have any question, please that don't forget if you have, uh, email us at uh, Mr. Zambiest at gmail.com. And also, if you want, you can text us on Facebook. Uh, that is at Mr. Zambiest, that's the page. So on Instagram, it's also Mr. Zambiest. Or where you are stranded, will be here to help uh, with the, the information. And if there's any information that you know that I've left out, please put it in the comment section so that those who are stranded will read that information and they will be helped with that information. Yep. Thank you so much for watching till the end. It's your boy, Mr. Zambiest. Yeah, and we are all about sharing great things about Zambia to Africa great things about Zambia to the world.